Okay, so I get the white pieces, and I think my goal is going to be to escort the king. So using these pawns, probably, um, I'm probably going to start with the queen's pawn. Okay, so he goes with king's pawn. This does let his king get out earlier, so that might be a thing. Let's get the advantage with the king. He might bring his queen out early. I do have to be worried about this check as well from this file, but... Okay, so he does bring his queen out early. That stops me from going to this file at all. Now what I have to be worried about, I did block my queen in, which isn't great. Now he kind of has a free king move. It might make sense for me to go here, this move, because then I can contest this rank, and then I can get my safe king passage with maybe... Okay, so this, this is a check. This lets me do this for free. So now, unless he gets control of this diagonal, I can get another free king move. Okay, now he moves this pawn, getting his rook in. I can still go here safely, but now he's going to want to bring his rook in. He might be going for like a checkmate. I'm thinking about this queen move. He's not defending the square. And then if he does move this pawn, I can just move out of the way. Let's go for it. Okay, he moves his knight. This is a free knight, I think. He's not defending this. He is defending this bishop. It was actually a double attack, which I didn't realize, but he did. So I'll just take this knight. Now he moves his rook up. He's threatening this pawn. He has this queen as well. This wouldn't be checkmate. And let's see. Yeah, I think I'm pretty well defended. Maybe we should... This is actually a free knight. I just realized as I clicked on it. So let's do that. Okay, he just moves his knight out. This pawn, I don't think is under threat, but it could be at some point. Again, I still have to be worried about this move because my queen would be hanging. I think now, though, we can just move the king up one more. This square is defended a bunch of times, though. Actually, it is blocked off by this knight, which I didn't realize, but he could still do some things with this queen, rook, and bishop all attacking this one square. I only have it defended twice, three if you count the king. What if we just now did this? This bishop's under attack, which maybe he was thinking I wouldn't realize. It would also come with check, so let's just take it. He's going to probably take back with his rook. He does. Okay, so now I think we can go for this move, and if he checks, we can just block with our pawn. We could do that in this direction too. I'm not sure if that would be better or not, but let's try it this way. We are down three minutes on the clock, which might come back to bite me, but I think we're doing okay so far. Okay, he brings his queen in. This isn't a check. Let's see, what does this threaten? He has this diagonal, which isn't a big problem yet. He might just go for this, this check right here. So maybe we could defend it with our own queen. I kind of like that move. Let's try it. So now his king is still on the first rank. He has to move seven times, and I'm just four moves away from winning. He just moves his pawn. Now his plan, probably he's getting closer to promotion, plus he can move his rook up and check me here, which I think I can just block with my pawn. So now no matter what, I can't get checked from either side. Okay, so he moves his queen back. His knight is still guarding this. He's also now defending this pawn. I don't see why we can't just push again. Let's try it. Now my king is not very safe, and it's prone to some kind of check, but that can't exactly come from both directions because of this pawn. So if he brings his queen back up to here, I can just block like this. Then he can move with discovered check, but I can just block with my other pawn. He slides his bishop down instead. Let's see. This actually blocks off the rank in a different way. So he might be able to get some kind of discovered check if he goes for maybe this move and then moving his bishop out of the way. He could also check me here. So I think let's move our queen here because now this check won't work, and any kind of discovered attack here, this does put my knight under threat. He could double attack me. He doesn't, though. He goes for, let's see, he's attacking this pawn, but I don't know if that really does anything. I could simply attack the bishop, too. So I think I'm simply going to push this pawn. He takes, and now what? So I just take back. Oh, and now this pawn hangs, and that's a free queen. I see. Okay. That's not too bad, because I can move my king up, then capture back with my king after he takes the queen. In a normal chess, I would have just made a huge blunder, but he can't take it. So see, now I just move up, and then what? I don't think he can stop me from getting to this square or this square if he takes. I think the game might just be over. He takes, and that's just game. So even though he won my queen, and that, frankly, that was a really good tactic, it didn't matter because I could just threaten to win by king of the hill. And of course, in normal chess, we're gonna play it out, I guess. He wins by checkmate in just two moves, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm gonna play with the black pieces. He goes for this king's pawn opening. Now we can get his king moving pretty quickly. So let's see if there's something I can do to stop that pretty quickly. So if he moves his king up right away, so let's say I go here, 
Then if he moves his king up, I can win the queen right away. So let's try that. He does, and I think this is just a free queen. He does get some quick king moves. He blocks with his pawn, actually, so I missed that. So I did not win a queen, unfortunately. So let's, let's see. We can move our king now. He might go for the same thing. I can maybe stop this pretty quickly. Okay, I see. Let's, he wants to move his rook out. Let's move our pawn. So at the very least, we can trade. Okay, he does it. Let's just trade. Let's take with knight. He does this again. I don't know if I want to take this trade again. So let's, let's see. There's nothing we can do to stop the rook, I don't think. But what we might be able to do is maybe push this pawn and we can get our bishop in. This could work. I'm not sure if I like that though, because we want to get our queen out pretty quickly. I think we can just not deal with that. If we push this pawn now, we can move our king again next move. So let's try that. This also gets our queen into the game. You could maybe attack this knight and that also prevents this king from going forward again without pushing a pawn. He does move his king, and although we can check right here, this would win a knight, but he'd get his king up again. I'm not sure if I like that. Although it also gets us control over the center, and the king can't get to the center and win unless he gets rid of my queen in the center. So let's try this. This will win a knight. He does just move his king up, which usually wouldn't be great, but I think we might just be able to take this knight safely. He could push his pawn later, but I don't think it matters. Let's just take. He might, he might move his king again but again if all i have to do is move this knight and then i have control over the center and he can't win he does push the pawn let's just i don't know if i like blocking with the knight here i could do that but then he could attack it it's pinned to the queen so let's just let's see i think this square is safe let's just do this now he can move his king again but as long as i keep this knight posted okay so he something i didn't realize is that this knight was actually under attack because he can't push this pawn to defend it so now all i have to do I can get my knight in maybe this this solidifies my control over the center he simply moves his king again but again he's not going to be able to do anything now let's slide this bishop back maybe because now he can't get control over this and i can safely bring my rook in let's do that again it doesn't matter how close he gets to the center he's not going to be able to move here but what i have to be careful not to do i should probably move this knight pretty quickly because all he would have to do is move this knight here, then he can safely get his knight in. That's something I didn't really think about. Okay, so let's just move as far away from the king as possible. Now we're gonna have to move this knight out of the way. It might make sense to bring our queen nice and close, just so that he can't, you know, block this off. He is really close, but I don't think it's gonna matter. For now, let's just move this knight out of the way. Okay, so he's probably looking to block here. Let's see, this controls this square. Let's just, oh, I see, okay. So what we're going to have to do now is, let's see, he's going to want to do this and then what? This maybe? So let's go here. I think this is fine. We could have won this bishop. We can still do that. Let's see. So this comes with check. I think now we can just win the bishop. We also have, well, we don't have, we don't really have this check because he can just get out of the way. This is a trade, but I think I like getting rid of this bishop. So after he takes back, now we can maybe get our rook involved. Okay. Attacks. I can't take, oh, it's check, no, wow, okay, so I am going to be losing this queen, I think that's just game, nothing I can do about it, so no matter what, I think he just wins, let's see, so here, takes, then is there anything I can do to stop this, I don't think so, let's just play it out, let's see, yeah, there's nothing I can do, so here, takes, I can go here, but he can still promote on either of these squares, so I think that's just game. So I'm going to allow him the glory of <laughs> winning. Here we go. All right. So it was looking good, but Toggle came out with the tactics. He figured out that he can't just do normal chess tactics in order to win. He has to incorporate King of the Hill, and he did that successfully.